Hey there everyone! Thank you for checking out this video. Um, this is Anthony here on Single and Placing. How is everyone? Um, I am obviously here with a bit of an unboxing or quite a bit of an unboxing. I'm gonna just yank the camera just a little bit off the table. I'm like so... I'm like known for like banging up against the, the table and then shaking the tripod or maybe I'm not known for it, but I am always concerned about it. Um, so yeah, we're here, I'm getting to do an unboxing. It's actually cooled off quite significantly here in Colorado or at least in the Denver area. Overcast, a little bit of sprinkly rain here and there. And so me and Apollo went for a super long walk and now he is out in the backyard. Um, I've got my eye on him. He's gnawing on a stick back there, just loving the cooler temps because it's been in the 90s to 100s recently, um, um, hundreds mostly, and I think right now it's in like the high 70s, I think, maybe low 80s, but that overcast is really nice. A little bit of a breeze, a little bit of a sprinkle here and there. So it's just a great weather day, so we're all enjoying it. And I'm actually about to head out here shortly to go on a little camping retreat for work, a little overnight trip and then a hike um, tomorrow. So um, this is kind of uh, what I decided to do while my clothes are drying so I can get those packed up and get the car loaded and get out of here. So this is gonna be uh, not necessarily a quick unboxing, but I do have a little bit of a time constraint today. I'm also have uh, my previous video that I just um, filmed a couple of days ago that's rendering or that's processing and behind us. So I'm trying to get all of this done while clothes are running so I can have some content up and head up to the mountains. We're headed up to Mount Elbert. So you may not see a uh, whip and chat um, this coming week. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have enough time to do one, but I figured I'll do a couple unboxings. We'll have some good stuff there and then maybe we can kick up the following. But uh, that's summer <laughs> for me <laughs> here in Colorado is, very busy, but I wanted to do a very special kit, um, you know, take a little break, maybe a little bit of a summer pause for a week with a bang and have a really exciting kit. So this is from Diamond Dots and it is um, a square drill. Oh no, I'm sorry. This is round drill um, and it's a 75 by 99 big kit and it is what? Oh my gosh. It is Woman in Gold by, I think it's Gustav Klimt. And this is a partial technically, but it is a gorgeous, gorgeous canvas. Here is that full size image there. Um, I saw, I've seen this on the Diamond Dots site for quite some time, and I've seen a lot of unboxings of it. I've seen a lot of people finish it. This has been around for a couple of years at least. Um, but uh, Katie over at Diamonds and Washi cracked this open as part of the Summer with the Masters um, series that she co-hosts and I was just blown away on Instagram by just the amount of shine and glitter and shimmer for a number of different reasons. Diamond Dots, um, from my experience, I've only done one kit of theirs, but their drills were particularly glossy, particularly shiny, but there's some really special things here that make this extra, extra, extra. So um, let's go ahead and crack into it. I'm going to go ahead and take that off screen just so I can get to this tape. So I think one of the reasons why I maybe hadn't purchased this earlier, A, you know, I hadn't really developed my love for Old Masters uh, when I first saw this maybe well, like four or five months ago, uh, but now I'm just like so into them. Um, add some sparkle to your world. There is the, the uh, canvas. It's interesting that they don't roll the uh, the diamonds and stuff in with, oh my God, uh, with the canvas. It's two separate pieces, but there we go. Um, so A, I wasn't super, you know, into the artwork style at that time, but I've started to like really fall in love with some of these kits. There's a couple Gustav Klimt's that I really like. And then B, this is listed as a partial because it technically is. And I've just always, you know, since I started diamond painting, which hasn't been that long, I think we're coming up on eight months now. Um, I haven't really been interested in exploring the world of partials. I've always liked the full drill, like seeing the background done as well. So anytime I pulled this up and it said partial, I wasn't really paying too much mind to it. And so I didn't really know which parts were or weren't um, uh, the diamond painting surface and which one was like the part that you would skip. 
but upon further review, it's pretty minimal here. So I guess let's go ahead and start off by taking a look at the canvas. Just a really simple plastic cover here. And then the actual kit material is a pretty hefty, pretty thick um, canvas. It reminds me of the last diamond dots that I did. Um, we have the scalloped edges or the finished edges here that are like surged or stabbed. I don't know what you want to call it um, there. So you, it prevents fraying. Um, but let me go ahead and unroll this and then I'm going to roll it backwards for you. This is rolled pretty tightly. So let's go ahead and it's got a little bit of a smell to it. <laughs> but this is poured glue. Um, similar to what you'd find on like your Diamond Art Club canvases and you know other companies distracted by diamonds. That poured glue is just a little bit more easier to work with and a little bit more resilient. Um, so you can do things like roll it um, to get the canvas to lay flat. So let's do that. Yeah, it's pretty tightly wound there at the, at the back. Okay, so let's do that. Give it a little bit of a, I usually kind of just do this just to give it a little bit of pressure, but not too much. Oh my word. Okay, let's take a look. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and lay it flat this way. Are you ready for this? Oh my gosh. Oh wow, how cool. Oh my, I feel like the canvases that I've been picking up recently have just been or I've been unboxing recently have just been stunners. Um, I haven't, don't have my eyesight on Apollo, so give me one moment while I go hunt him down. One moment, please. Okay, dragged him back in here, um, gave him his phone, as I typically do when I'm trying to film. So he's just gonna chill out. Um, I've been, the phones are in the freezer, and so they're like extra icy and cold, and he just like, and he's teething, he lost, two teeth and now the adult teeth are coming in and he's just teething like crazy and he really loves loves those bones so okay so here we have um women in gold gustav klimt diamond dots and this is uh let me let me look up the, the facts and figures one more time we're looking at a um 75 by 99 fabric size and then the design size is a 67 by 91 centimeter and this is a round drilled canvas beautiful 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 you've, you've probably seen it if you haven't take a look at this um, but it, this is a very popular kit very popular image for diamond painting because it is part of the um public domain and yeah this is awesome. So let's go ahead and take a look at the drills. I do want to call out, so this is a partial. So you can see her skin tone here, her hands. This is all not drilled, but you're gonna drill, uh, you're gonna have diamonds that go across as part of her bracelets. They kind of intersect here in her necklace. So it kind of makes it look a little bit more complete than if this was all just one big section. And they did like um, the partial piece color uh, was just colored with no drills. I like that there's kind of a um, a blending of the the undrilled pieces and the pieces that you will be putting drills or diamonds on. So necklace, little strap here and here on her shoulder. Her face is not, but her hair is. So yeah. And I also think it's really cool. I don't know if a lot of companies do this, but I've noticed on the Diamond Dots kits that I, that one that I have done is they do put some of the finished image around the border. So even when the drills stop, there's still a little bit of that original artwork or kind of rendering on the edges. And it kind of gives this really interesting finished effect that I really like. Um, it might make it really nice to frame as well since you have a little bit of play there on the sides. So let's get into what I think is the main event for this, even though this is a gorgeous canvas in itself, um, are these drills. And this really was the selling piece for me is just how much cool stuff is in here. So yeah, wow, wow, wow. So let's talk about our toolkit. Very basic, classic toolkit. You've got your, um, I'm like standing off to the side and usually I'm hugging the camera. You've got your basic boat, your drill tray here. Um, you've got your wax in a nice little container. It looks like they're giving us three pieces or plates of wax in a nice little container. That's awesome. We're also gonna get two diamond painting pens. 
one for you and one for a friend, as well as two squishies. So these little squishies are, are little comfort grips. Um, they just slide sometimes easily, sometimes not easily, but they're just gonna sl slide, slide. <laughs> you get the idea. <laughs> Um, sometimes they are a little bit more of a pain. There we go. So yeah, a little comfort grip there, and that just makes it a little bit easier to diamond paint for a uh, mix, you know, if you're doing like a extended session, gives it a little bit more of a, a grip and comfort. So your fingers aren't sliding and you're not getting too much pressure. So there's those, you get your single placer um, diamond tips, brass tips on either side, and then you have your bag uh, your bag is filled with some additional baggies. You can store some excess drills in here, use them for some, any kind of organization that you'd like. So they give you those. Um, there are some things that, you know, are in some other kits that aren't here. So you, you might have expected to see the multi places that go in the back of these pens. Um, maybe even like a cover binder, those types of things. Diamond Dots from what, I, what I've seen in my last kit um, had this same stuff. They keep it pretty simple with their with their kits. And in fact, I'm not even sure if they offer a lot of those extras a la carte. You'll have to check out their site. I'll make sure to link it below. Um, but I don't even know if they offer multi-placers or anything like that. So, um, okay, so this fell on the ground. So let's go ahead and grab that. This is basically, I believe, an instruction sheet. And since they sell internationally, um, you get your instructions in a lot of languages. Um, but here is how to diamond paint in a lot of different languages. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. So there's that for you. Um, let's get into these drills. I want to kind of, um, let me get my scissors because I want to clip out the specialty drills and we can kind of see where those go. Handy dandy scissors. Um, so yeah, I guess let's, let's, we won't do it in any particular order. Let's just cruise through them, but we're going to cut out the specialty drills as we go. So first up we have, um, and I'm not going to call these out by color code. Diamond Dots uses their own proprietary numbering system. So if you're trying to match these to DMCs, um, you'd have to go onto the Diamond Dots website. They do have a conversion chart there, um, but I'll hold them enough so you can see them. So hit pause if you do want to see like, okay, 7006, what is that in DMC? You might also still have some hard time because their specialty, they might not have an equivalent. Um, but we have this 7006. Okay, so we have this gold metallic or gold crystal. One, two, three, four, five bags of that. I mean, essentially that's that's gotta go everywhere, but we will cut it out just to take a look. So let's snip these specialty drills. Then we have this, um, all, there's gonna be a ton of these different shades of kind of like mustardy and orangey and like gold colors. Um, so we've got one, two, three, four, five bags of this this gold. I guess I can just do it this way. Whoopsie. Um, do it this way as well so you can really get a look at that color. Like I said, you can look up the Diamond Dots conversion um, site and that'll help you out. So we've got a little bit of a lighter shade of kind of that orangey gold. We've got four bags of that. Um, and then we've got three bags of something that's a little bit more orange, kind of a pumpkin squash. And then two bags of this more deeper yellow and then kind of more of a pale. Here they are in the back. So as you can see, it's just gonna be a lot of these kind of gold colors pretty much everywhere. <laughs> if, it's not, if it's not those, then it's a specialty drill is kind of what it seems like. So, um, okay, let's see what we've got here. We've got some red, um, 8001, which I think is gonna be a 310, just a black. And then we've got some purple here, deep blue, lighter blue, and then some browns. We'll flip it again so you can kind of see what we're working with here. Awesome, not a lot of 310. I guess maybe just for hair and then some kind of odds and ends scattered about. Okay. So let's see here what they say. Even more pale of a yellow. Kind of a burnt orange, lighter orange, some grays, different hues of gray, almost a smoky color, and then we have this silver metallic or silver crystal here at the end. So let's take a look at those. So weird not calling out all the colors, but 
they don't they're not DMC so it's unless you're like a diamond dot fanatic you might know what all the what all the conversions are but I'm setting all the regular drills aside by the way and then I think this whole thing wow 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 oh my gosh I'm so excited okay so we have it looks like a little handful of a yellow AB a little handful of an orange AB then we have these metallic silver I don't even know what those are yeah like a metallic silver and then a really shimmery shimmery crystal silver so let's see are these the same yes so this is the same as the other one we did this is just the second bag of it so more crystal more metallic and then two ab's here hold on to all those oh my gosh okay look at this i really want to get close up because i've watched a lot of unboxings of these but i haven't ever gotten a real good look at them so i really want you to see these these are like a yellow gem rectangle yellow bar I'm so cool i've never seen specialty drills like this this is like a uh, aquamarine bar smaller rectangle bars but these are kind of a brown color. This is more of a champagne, kind of pink, I guess, blush. Those similar bars, hopefully you can see those. Large, uh, like circles, rounds, and those are in a blue. Large rounds in a black. Oh, those are so cool. Large rounds in a AB kind of silvery crystal, and then a smaller round in like an orange color tangerine. So freaking cool. <laughs> I'm like, sweet. I've never done a I've never done a canvas as a kit that had anything other than ABs. Um I've done I've done my own modifications to add some metallics or some quad cubes from DP with sparklers, but I've never seen so many specialty drills on a kit before. I'm so excited to start it. Okay, cool. So let's take a look and see where these go. I'm, I'm gonna start with, let's grab the scissors. There's gonna be a lot of crispy crunchity in this video because I'm gonna be playing with these drills a lot. <laughs> um, so we've got these two bags. They're the A23 on the canvas and that symbol's kind of a, I don't remember what that is, but it's like a an arrow up. We'll just call it an arrow up essentially. So we have it here, here, it really is sprinkled throughout. Anytime you kind of see some silver or white here, you're gonna have that, that crystal involved. It's very prominent in these two sections here on either side. Um, all, anywhere you see the gray, the gray and white, you're gonna see that. Um, I'm gonna cut the lights just so you can see without the glare. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> Never mind, just kidding. <laughs> it's like I said, it's gloomy out. Um, we have it all here in her bracelets. Anywhere you see that the the little splatters of gray, um, you're gonna have this crystal. Wow. Okay, cool. Let's put that here, I suppose. Um, since we're talking about the crystals, let's go ahead and talk about this. These are all the same massive amount. Look at like, I, can you, Annette, can you believe? I mean, this is just gonna be so much fun. Like, I think this will really keep me engaged through this. It's very, very confetti heavy, but I think having all of these uh, crystals and the fact that it's around will make it a little bit more easier to, to, uh, to work on. Um, that's the symbol K, um, pretty much throughout. It's hard. It's most, most of the time when we're talking about ABs and special drills, you can say there's a little pat patch here and here. Like literally K is just like, it's there just everywhere. Like it's this kind of, um, symbol. It's that kind of, uh, darker brownish gold that you see here, but it's throughout. It's everywhere. Like there isn't really an area that it's not there. This little bar here, this little section here doesn't have them. Um, but other than that, it's really scattered throughout the entire canvas. So cool, awesome. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find some of these more uh, smaller handfuls of them, but this is 26 and that is gonna be the lowercase t. I don't know, there's so few. There's so few. Let's see here. Hmm. hmm. 
Let's see, and it's a really light symbol on the legend. Let's see. I don't know. I was thinking we'd have them like down here, but I'm not seeing them. So yeah, when I'm kitting up this kit, I might have to do a little bit of more of an AB or a specialty drill identifying session um, because they might, they, I don't I don't even know if they're gonna be in one big clump or if there's just like one, one, you know. So this one's a little bit hard to identify. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna tap out on that one. Um, let's see if I can find 25. That's a lowercase a, and that's more of an orangey color. Let's see here. I don't want to keep you guys too long while I'm just glazing over, like glossing over the, the canvas looking for them. So, okay, I'm going to tap out on that as well. <laughs> and then 24 is going to be the lowercase n. That I think I have seen. Um, or I thought I had seen it. Oh, here it is. It's all in this little patch here. That's where it's located. So that's going to be that metallic that more metallic silver. Um, so yeah, we'll identify where those little handfuls of, um, of ABs go. Um, but let's, let's really take a look at these awesome bars. I love that their, their code is like, it's so obscure because it's just like, what is this even? So it's like 9M238. So that's our yellow bar. That is number uh, 34. And that's gonna be the number eight of the specialty drills. Um, so we've got those. Oh, here we go. So we've got 246, 246, 246. We've got our bars here. And it's really cool how they've kind of charted it. And you have a little bit of the canvas peeking through. So it, it still looks really, really uniform. So there's those. Our next ones are going to be that kind of aquamarine bar. And that's 33. And that's number seven, so 246, 246, 246. So, the, oh, and then there's some more 246 down here. So you've got kind of four sections of that aquamarine bar. Next up, we've got the little brown bars, and that's gonna be uh, 32, and that is number six um, for those specialties. So um, let's see if we can identify those. You'd think this would, these would pop out, but they're, oh, here they are, nope, nope. Number six, let's see. Let's do a little search for them, shall we? Do you see the number six? Wow, they're kind of hidden in here. Interesting. I don't want to have to tap out on a bar. <laughs> um, let's see. You'd think they'd be here in the middle somewhere. Sorry if my head's poke it into the camera. Six. These are really hiding from me. I'm going to look at the original image and see if I can. Hmm. Oh, are they, are they out here with these guys? We're looking for symbol six if it's a small rectangle. I can't believe I can't find these. Huh. Okay, I'm gonna have to tap out on these. That is crazy. Um, let me double check to make sure I'm looking at this right. 32. 32, yes, it's symbol six. Um, sneaky, sneaky little bars. Okay, all right, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to pause on those because I am not, not seeing them. Um, a31, that's gonna be symbol five. This is of a champagne, whoops, sorry to shake you. Champagne blush colored bars. Um, where would, I mean, now I'm like, where would they go? <laughs> if not like right the dead center, you know? I can do that just to help get rid of a little bit of glare there so you can kind of see it with minimal glare, but I need this light, it's getting gloomy out. Um, wow. I can't believe that I'm not able to identify these. Oh, haha! -ha, here we go. Five and six, they really are small. They're right all tucked in here. 
right here on the dress. Wow, I was looking for a much larger symbol, but basically they're the size of two, two drill, um, drill spaces, essentially. I don't know if you can see that, but they're tucked in right here, both colors. Cool, okay. <sighs> wow. <laughs> okay, next is a 30, and that's number four, and that's gonna be our big blue circles. And those are kind of, uh, these are kind of scattered throughout here. Um, we've got a couple on this side as well. Next up, we've got our black dots, and I believe that's gonna be symbol three, yep. Um, and it looks like we've got those. Hmm, three, three, three. Call them out if you see them. Oh, here they are. Threes kind of scattered throughout here. We've got, do we have any on this side? Possibly. I'm seeing most of them over here, though. Um, oh, there's some right here in her neck as well. Oh, and down here, and here, and here. So kind of all right in this middle area. Um, then we've got our kind of medium-sized um, silver, um, or I guess crystals, circles. And that's going to be number two. And those are, once again, really scattered throughout here, just in this top area. It looks like you might have a couple down here as well. Um, so pretty much right down the center, right on her dress and kind of around her, her head. And then the last one is going to be our small little tangerine clementine circles and Apollo. <laughs> um, and that's going to be symbol number one. And we've got that all up here on this side as well. Oh, we've got some number three scattered throughout down here as well. So cool. It, it's really kind of top heavy with like the circles and the gems. And then um, you've got the bars down the center and then everything else on the other side is gonna be your gold, metallic gold crystal, silver crystal. But those larger bars and specialties seem to kind of run through the center of the kit. Ooh, there's a lot of that number one right here, so. I, can, I really love this too. This almost looks like a candy, like a gummy candy. <laughs> okay, cool, that's it. Um, wow, I'm so excited to work on this kit. Um, I don't know when it will happen. Um, I have a lot of kits that I keep saying I want to get to, but I'm finding that my pace of diamond painting during the summer has been, or at least in the past kind of week or two, um, has been greatly reduced. I cranked through the Captain from Diamond Art Club because that was just a color blocking round and I really worked that up fast. But um, I'm, I think, five days into um, Self Portrait by Tamara de Limpica. That's a Distracted by Diamonds kit. And I think I've gotten three or, no, I've gotten five sections done now um, out of, I think, maybe close to 30 sections. Um, and it's a bit basically a section a day, which is okay, but it's not fast enough to, <laughs> to keep saying, oh, in the next couple months, because I've just got a lot to do. There's lots of events coming. I'm joining a um, kind of a dual event uh, next month. And then uh, Drills and Chills is coming in September and October. And I've got three kits that I wanna do for that, uh, that event. There's also a Witches one that'll be uh, running in tandem with that. So I might have to find a kit that can do double duty there. And then we start moving into our winter themed kits, which I, I'm not a big like Christmas or holiday image person. Um, so I that might be my first chance to like get back into like some non-event stuff. And then, but I have Christmas gift kits that I want to give away. So I've got, um, what is that called? Where the fun never ends. I need to get that done. I've got a yellow Frida for my aunt. I've got a bee kit for my mom. So it's just, there's a lot to do. And I just don't, I just, I don't think this one's in the cards until next year, to be quite honest. But I really do want to get started on it because I love the idea of working on those special drills. Now that I'm looking at, I'm wondering if some of those, um, a, B's are like some of these symbols. No, no, no. Okay, all right, I'm, I'm calling it, I'm calling it. Those are the only ones I couldn't identify, so I'd like to find them, but uh, yeah, let me know if you have worked on this one, if you've completed it. It's, it's really rested nicely just as we've been chatting. Um, if you've worked on this or worked on it from another company and what your experience is working with these specialty drills, I purchased um, two 
uh, specialty drills trays from Nick's Notions just for this kit. Um, they don't have the grooves on them, they're completely flat. So I'm hoping that'll be a nice way to get some of these bars and larger, um, larger specialty drills, specialty shapes. I think those will go nicely in here and I'll be able to work them. I'm just curious as to how I place them. Like, can I just pick them up with like my single placer and they'll be light enough to come right up? Or do I need to get tweezers for these? Let me know how you, if you have done this kit or something that's had similar shapes, how you work with these specialty drills. I'm very curious about that. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share this uh, video and the channel with friends, family members, or anyone that you think might take some value out of this content. It's been a pleasure. Have an excellent rest of your week or day or evening, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks again and happy placing. Bye.